welcome back to the part 2 guys fmg aspirants uh, the cxr cocktail part 1 i just released it today and the second part i am recording because i think if it would be back to back then it will be more helpful and you can cover up the whole pulmonology in a shorter period of time and um, it will stay more in your memory so let's get started with it so what why i am calling it cocktail you can see all those things you can know about these things in the part 1 i'll give the link description in the link in the description so you can if you haven't posted it yet you can go and check it out the part 1 of the cxr cocktail as well let's dive into the part 2 so part 2 i'm going to be discussing the most important cases which are there and which can be asked from the pulmonology in most probably two or three cases out of these uh, uh there is there is like high chances of getting them asked because every exam every time in every exam they tend to ask those things so simple pneumothorax simple pneumothorax you can see it here that um you can see the wedge the edge of the lung left lung right here look at the arrowhead and the asterisk you can see the boundary the outlining and the the asterisk part there is no lung markings so this is your pneumothorax but there is no mediastinal shifting right you cannot see any mediastinal shifting there is there would be no hemodynamically unstable patient history so then it will be a simple pneumothorax next is a chest drain these days they tend to ask a lot of equipment related stuff like pulmonary valve or aortic valve and mitral valve those things and then they will there will be images of chest drain put in and they'll ask you things related that what it is just to assess if you have any clinical exposure or not if you know the clinical things or not and as you know the clinical aspect of um, exam has been more uh, dominant these days from last i think august 2020 fmg exam they then they started asking a lot of clinical questions so this this is this has a like high potential of getting asked so the chest and how you would recognize the chest and you can see the tip right here and then in the chest drain there would be a multiple holes which you can see with the arrowhead right a tube has been inserted to the drain to drain air from the pleural cavity it has been placed approximately with its tip pointing high up towards the apex of hemithorax this is same as the patient a and this is what is being done to drain the pneumothorax uh, you have put in a chest drain next is tension pneumothorax they often tend to confuse you between um, simple pneumothorax and tension pneumothorax so in simple pneumothorax there would be no mediastinal shift or there will be no pushing pulling kind of thing but what you'll see so in tension pneumothorax what you'll see there is a shift in the trachea line like these are the spines spinous process look at observe the spinous process it's not the same as we saw it in the normal cxr it's moving towards this side right so the arrowhead shows the left lung arrowhead is being compressed this is your collapsed lung because of the pneumothorax see no lung markings can be seen you see here small small lung markings here there is none in the left side so the lung has collapsed this this what this one the arrowhead shows the collapsed lung the, and this is the compression it is pushed towards the right immediate aspiration is required this is an emergency condition where wherein the immediate aspiration is required so please do not confuse between simple pneumothorax and uh, tension pneumothorax they they very often tend to ask this next is hydro pneumothorax how would you know about hydro pneumothorax like uh you remember when we studied uh, or when we saw the image of pleural effusion so pleural effusion is like blunting of uh angle your costophrenic angle and here also you can see there is blunting but the patient has both pneumothorax and a pleural effusion arrowhead and the stoma due to an esophageal rupture this is how they will construct a case you know this is how they will construct a case and give you the image and would ask you the diagnosis the fluid level does not have a curved meniscus sign of a simple effusion okay in case of a simple effusion there would be a clean meniscus there would not be this haziness or this uh, filling kind of image so note the presence of a chest drain as well here you can see the chest drain is put in hemonuothorax has identical appearances and is often associated with rib fracture so they might give you a case of rib fracture and ask you this thing next is your lower left lobe collapse how would you know there is a lower left lobe collapse the lower left lobe bronchus is occluded with the collapse of this lobe the edge of the collapsed lobe forms the sail sign 
so does does this look like um, if you have seen the pirates movies the pirate of caribbean and in those movies then you you are aware of the boat sail very much so this looks like a boat sail so that's how that's why it's known as the sail sign so please please re- revise these uh, images again and again because these these images have a high frequency of getting asked in the exam papers and if you know them once if if your brain recognizes them then then only you would be able to answer it like uh, our teacher used to say that you cannot see what your brain does not know so you have to know in order to see it in exam otherwise it would be in front of you in plain sight and you would not be uh, able to recognize it anyway if you haven't seen it before or you, if you haven't known about it before so that's how radiology and the x-rays and the images work next is your right upper lobe collapse look at this right upper lobe collapsing here the horizontal fissure is the arrowhead has been pulled upwards due to the volume loss of the right upper lobe the patient in both e and f like the last one and this one has an occluding bronchial carcinoma so they would give you this this thing is not like to make you scared but that's how they will give you in the four and five sentences of the question what they are going to write about is uh, your bronchial carcinoma and then they are going to give you this image and then they will ask you that what's going on in the options there would be an option of right upper lobe collapse so if you know if you have seen it then you don't even need to read the whole five five long sentences of question the moment you see it if you have already known it that yes it is a right upper lobe collapse then you'll be able to figure it out that without even reading a question but uh, i do not recommend that that you don't read the question even though you recognize the image from uh, my video or your books or anywhere Uh, please read the question once because sometimes they ask you accept kind of things and sometimes they are not really asking you diagnosis or they are asking something else so don't give them that easy chance to fool you so better read the question but when you know the answer before even reading the question what confidence it gives you oh my god like your confidence level will be so high and even the questions you feel very doubtful you'll use all your brain power to answer them and uh, there are high chances that you'll mark them correct because you already know a lot of things it's just a matter of confidence how confident you are in the exam hall or how confident you feel about your preparation in the exam hall everyone have almost read everything by now it it's only a matter of how confident and how uh, well your brain recalls the things you have already read and if you feel confident then there are high chances that your brain will recall those things like pretty pretty well that you'll be i was quite amazed like myself that i thought that many questions i didn't know but i marked the answers correct when i came back and checked so that's all how your um, subconscious brain works it recalls a lot of things which you have read like 2 or 3 or 4 months ago or even a year ago if you have read it properly that time so don't worry about it just go through this part 1 and part 2 of cxr cocktail and um, i hope the chest x-ray questions will come up, come from these images only so it will help you a lot so thank you so much for this video next video i think i would be making for localizing the consolidation which is how you consolidate uh, how you localize a consolidation because there have been uh, questions asked in fmg 22 2020 august and neat and aims in every exam so i think that part is also important to know so please write in the comment box if um, you have any other query and if you want me to make it or not make it i don't know uh, tell me what you think about it and i'll work on it Thank you so much.